Welcome back to Burdu Channel. Today, we're diving into a super useful tool for all you digital marketers out there, how to set up Facebook Pixel on your Burdu website. In simple terms, a pixel is a small piece of code that lets you track how visitors interact with your website. It's like a magnifying glass that shows you what's working and what isn't, so you can make data-driven decisions for your business. Before we dive in, make sure to subscribe to the Burdu channel Hit the like button below and turn on the notification bell as well. First, ensure you have an active Facebook personal account. If it's restricted or blocked, you won't be able to proceed. Alternatively, you can create a new account for your business. It's easy, just sign up with your email and password. Step two is creating a business account. Log into your personal Facebook account and click on Ads Manager from the left sidebar. You'll be taken to a new page. Now, click Create Business Portfolio. Click Create an Account. Fill out the form with your business or store information. Please note that a single email can only be used for one business account. If you've already created a business account, you won't be able to create another with the same email. Once you're done, click Submit. At this step, Facebook recommends confirming the link sent to your email. Now, click Done. Now, click on your business account profile and then go to Business Settings. Your Business Manager account is now set up. Step 3 involves setting up the pixel in the Event Manager. Hover over the menu here, go to the Event Manager, close any pop-ups, then hover over the plus sign in the left sidebar and select Connect Data Source. A pop-up will appear. Choose Web and click Next. Enter your business or store website name, then click Create. Click Connect manually. Several options like this will appear. Then close the Setup box. If your pixel hasn't appeared yet, please refresh the page first. The final step is connecting this pixel to your Burdu website. Open your Burdu website's dashboard. Go to Apps and search for the Facebook Pixel app. Click Edit or Use. Now, add a new pixel. Enter the pixel name. Make it the same as on Facebook to avoid confusion. For the pixel ID, copy the ID from the data source settings on Facebook. Paste it here, then click Save. As an added tip, you can add multiple pixels using the same steps we discussed earlier. The final step is testing whether the Facebook Pixel is correctly installed. For this test, I'm using Google Chrome and the MetaPixel Helper Chrome extension. To install MetaPixel Helper, click the three dots in the top right corner of your Chrome browser and go to Settings. Go to Extensions. Click on the Chrome Web Store, Search for MetaPixel Helper. Click Add to Chrome, and then Add Extension. A pop-up like this will appear, indicating that the MetaPixel Helper extension has been successfully added. Once installed, the extension will appear here. Now, let's check our website. If you see something like this, it means the pixel is successfully connected and working properly. The green check mark indicates that your website activities are being tracked by the pixel. Now, let's test another activity, like a search. You'll see the search results appear. And in the extension, the activities have increased to two. You can view the details here, including the keywords you just entered. By default, the pixel tracks activities like page views, view content, searches, etc. You can read and understand the information here on your own. That's it for this tutorial. If you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment below. Like this video, drop a comment, and subscribe to the Burdu.id channel for more tutorial videos. Also, don't forget to follow our social media accounts for more interesting content. See you next time!